and uh, welcome back let's solve the problem a from the weekly contest 390 so before going in, jumping into the problem so i want to say that i was able to solve the four questions from the weekly contest 390 so if you practice if you practice consistently suppose you can see here i have practiced for 448 days every day i was uh, i used to solve one problem and after solving that problem i used to participate in every contest you can see here there was a downs there were ups so you can see every time i was able to participate and i could able to get some thousands ranks but today after practicing and being consistent for a good amount of time i was able to get the three digit rank 537 so if you believe in yourself and if you solve at least one problem per day if you are a working professional try to solve one problem if you are a student try at least four to five problems so someday you will be getting three digits, two digits and even the one digits. So first, now let's understand the problem A. Now here, uh, given a string S, we need to return the maximum length of a substring that contains at most two occurrence of each character. He is saying that he want to return a substring. He want to return a substring such that at most two occurrences of each character. Suppose a a a these are my three occurrences so this is my this is not a valid substring if it is a a b my maximum occurrence is two so it is saying at most two either it can be zero one or two at most two so this is my valid substring now if you see here the following substring has a length four and contains at most two occurrences of each character now you can see here b c b b b c b a now we have this string now you can see bcb is my valid string because b has occurred twice now if you see here bc bb now till length my maximum length is 3 because bcb now this here my b has occurred thrice so it is greater than 2 so it is not a valid now cbb i will check cbb cbb is a valid yes my length 3 it is not increasing then c triple b it's not valid then i will come here bbb not valid i will come here bb is a valid then I will check BBC. Uh, BBC, yes, it is valid, but length is 3. Length is, then I will come here. It is invalid. So my BCBA is a valid, which is a maximum length, which is 4. So you can think like this. So you, what will be the brute force solution? For every substring, I will calculate the frequencies. I will calculate the frequency. So if you, if you see here, most of you was able to solve this because the length is 100 and you can solve it in a brute force way. Now if you see, maximum length string is and I will iterate h dot length we got maximum length as my answer and I am taking the frequency here frequency which are initialized to 0 so you can see here is consists of only lowercase English letter so it will be only 26 now here we are incrementing now if you see here if my so from 0 I am starting till j till j j will be from j is equals to i from 0 to length so for everything 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 n till 0 n I will calculate if somewhere I am getting the frequency as 3 so I am breaking it out and I am calculating every time I am calculating the maximum length then I am going for index 1 and I am doing same index 1 2 3 4 till n for index 2 I am doing the same 2 3 4 2 2 2 2 2 3 2 2 4 these are all my substrings so in this way I am calculating the maximum substrings so this solution is a valid one so you can solve this in order of n square n square so if you are new to the programming you could able to solve this brute force approach so i think you got how to solve the brute force approach now let's see how you can optimize this solution now as i explained here as i explained here you can use sliding window so i think most of you heard about sliding window so if you if you did not heard about sliding window you can type sliding window in the browser you will get various blocks from the geek for geeks tutorials point you can go and you can search there now if you see here let's see this example b c triple b c b a b c b b b c b a c b a so here so here I will use here now my start is 0 my end is 0 so initially my start is here and end is here now you can see here I am using the character frequency I am using the character frequency and every time my start next my start will be at this position and my B frequency is 1 right my B frequency is 1 and now my C frequency will be 1 my start will be here and my B frequency will be 2 
when my start is at this position when my start is at this position my b frequency is 3 and you can see here if my frequency of end is greater than 2 greater than 2 then i need to decrement the start i need to increment the start now if you see here uh, this is e sorry for that now let's consider this as start now this is my end now i will come here so if i come here i am decrementing the frequency care frequency s of start minus minus start plus plus now let's erase this for better understanding this is my end 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 this are my start my start will come here after coming here you can see my character of s end this will become 2 is greater than 2 no right then i will calculate the maximum length which is 3 so you can see here maximum length end minus start plus 1 in the same way if my frequency is going greater than 3 so i'll try to increment the start in this way you can solve this problem so if you see here you can see you can see the two while loops but if you see my start my start and end will be incrementing every time and my end will reach n right my start will reach n my end will reach we are incrementing n every time and start incrementing every time so it will be mostly it will be like n plus n not n into n if you see two loops don't directly jump like it is n into n you can see here my start is occurring once every element is occurring only once my end every element is occurring once so it is like mostly order of n plus n and we are using extra space character frequency so it will be order of n so i think you understood this so if you understood this please please do like and to watch the new videos you can subscribe to my channel and don't forget to upvote like if you are solving this problem you can go here and you can click on upvote so so that other people will get benefit from this video so thank you i will see you in the next video